For example, if we'd like to calculate the average value of the quadratic function fx equals x squared over the interval 0, 2, then, then this is given by the formula 1 over b minus a, while b is taken to be 2, a is 0, so we get 1 over 2 times the definite integral from 0, 2 of x squared dx, which equals, of course, a half times 1 third x to the power 3 in between the integration bounds 0 and 2, which equals 4 over 3. Well, we have the follow following theorem, which is also referred to as the mean value theorem for definite integrals. So let f be a continuous function on a closed interval a, b, so that the definite integral from a to b of a, fx dx exists. Then there is a number c in the interval a, b, such that the function value in C, such that the function value in C equals the average value of f over the interval a b. So f c equals 1 over b minus a, the integral from a to b f x dx. Well, the proof goes as follows f is continuous, so we know by virtue of the main theorem of calculus that we have a primitive of f on a, b. We'll say that this is capital F. But then we also know that 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b fx dx is no more than 1 over b minus a times the primitive function capital F evaluated in the endpoint. So f b minus f a but here is fb minus fa divided by b minus a for a differentiable function, capital F. So we know by the mean value theorem that there is a c in a, b such that fb minus fa divided by b minus a equals the derivative of capital F in c for some c in a, b. But since we know that capital F is a primitive of f, we know also that f prime c is just f c. So that we have 1 over b minus a, the integral a times b. So the average value of f over a b equals f c. Well, this is the proof.